they first made there you it. go it's a clown event all right let's keep rolling right. here 800 um do we sell travis we might have lost travis no we lost travis his, he, he had to go we, we got a job. lawn though we got a lawn here we okay go. we got a lot uh, 800 800 so we're going back we're gonna go 8 15 5 10 steeple we got five events to go here 800, the aforementioned a thing Mo comes in with the fastest time of the year, 15607, won the trials, won NCAAs, had basically the dream season. She might need to go up another level here, though, to win this event because this event is, is quite deep. Uh, Rosemary Almanza of Cuba has two 156s. Natoya Ghoul is a 156. Ajay Mills, uh, Wilson just coming off that 157. You got Gemma Riki with the 156. This event, Gordon, I think has, when I talked before about imagining people winning gold, I think this one has the highest amount of people I could imagine winning the gold medal. There's a solid eight people here who I think could win gold with a thing, Mo, at the top of the list. So for some reason, I'm the exact opposite. I just, like, 100% think a thing, Mo, is going to win. Like, there's I'm not, not saying she's the favorite. Another- I'm just no, saying no, like, you could picture other people winning. Like you could I can't. Like Halima Nakai won in twenty nineteen. Huge surprise. Going to that meet, I did not picture her winning. But if she wins again, I could picture her winning. Raven Rogers got a silver. I could picture her getting a gold. Ajay Wilson been knocking on the door for a while now. I could picture her getting a gold. Gemma Riki's yes, been I solid can... in the Diamond League. I could picture her getting a gold. Almanza, even though not a household name, um, you could she's run one fifty six twice this year. You could see her getting a goal, then it wouldn't be completely out of left field. Natoya Gould, she's only made one final in her career, but she's run 156. She's been in enough races. I can see her getting a gold. Get at you of Ethiopia, who's just completely out of nowhere. No results before 2020 that I've been able to find. She's only run in five results in the database between 2020 and 2021, but she ran 156 at the Ethiopian trial. So I could picture her getting a gold. Enough people have run fast or have been no. around long enough to where I could see them getting a gold. Contrast that with- but Here's the thing. Something like the here's men's the 100. Outside the top three okay, in the men's, we're not talking about like, the men's. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying, like you can't even picture, like a lot of it, you can't even picture somebody winning a goal. Well, I could picture all those. Here's women the problem. Gold. Here's the problem with pick, having all these pictures of people with gold medals. All those pictures require in the image a thing Mo not winning, getting which beat. I could imagine, which which is possible. When, what what where based on her resume that she's had up to this point, what has she done? That I'll imagine that thinks that she's gonna lose. I, I just don't see it. I, I think she is the I am I can more likely see Joe Kovacs beat Ryan Krauser or Sam Kendricks beat Mono Duplantis than Natalia Gould beat a thing Mo or Ajay Wilson or Raven Rogers. Like a thing Mo has shown no weakness. Her biggest weakness, which I predicted was an indoor 400 where she didn't oh, no, no, get no, no, to the no, 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 no. get to the line in time. Outside of Stop. that, she's Stop. shown no weakness. I'm not going to let you sit on this podcast after doubting a thing Mo for six and a half months and now claim that this was all inevitable, <laughs> that there's no possible way she can be beaten. I just listed all the people who have run 156 this year this is her first olympic games it's the 800 it's an unpredictable event of course she can be beaten is she the favorite yes i believe she's the favorite but the depth is such that there's a lot of possible winners and the reason i brought up the men's hundred it's like how many people can you imagine standing on top of that podium you could you could obviously see bromel there and then how many past that baker degrasse sabine like how many guys can you like picture four. putting the gold yeah, gold medal around their neck versus four. something like this where it's super, super deep. So, again, some of us on this podcast, not you, have been saying a thing Mo is legit all year. So, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you give me the lecture about how great a thing Mo I'm is. Not, I know I'm she's great. You're allowed to change my mind. You're allowed to change your mind. Uh, you did on Felix, and then you keep doing these 180s for some reason. Something happens, and you just get upset. But, but, it's still it's still an 800 in a major championship, right? And she's not at the Rudisha level dominant. She's not at the Semenya level dominant. She's been great this year. She is the favorite, but obviously she's she's vulnerable. Everybody. But is. here's the thing: when she does win this, you're gonna want, and she goes into next year continuing to win. You're gonna start saying the phrase Rudisha and Semenya because you'll be like. 
we don't see a, an avenue for her to be beat. She's okay. I mean, and we'll have that when, conversation when it happens. We'll have that conversation when okay. it happens. You're predict you're predicting something. I'm having that conversation now. Well, but you're arguing against the thing that's going to happen that you think might happen in the future and using that as evidence for the present. That is not how it works. Yeah. You can't be like, this thing hasn't happened yet and you're wrong. It's got to happen first. Listen. True. I'll say, I'll say a couple words here. Don't sleep on Ajay Wilson. Don't sleep on Ajay Wilson. I think that 157 was the most meaningful co-ed race in history. <laughs> Write that down, Gordon. Yeah, Ajay she's, Wilson. She's, she's getting plus back. One, she's plus one seventy five to medal. Look at her gold medal. I like those if odds. You want, if you want to know, her if gold you want medal to know, odds are plus a thousand. Yeah. That's good. Ten to one. Yeah. When a thousand because bucks, does Ajay Wilson wins. Do you think they were looking at the men's eight hundred meter results from that pen relays meet? Do you think they were digging Probably into that? Not. Probably, Probably not. not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have, but I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't. I would. I would go with Ajay Wilson meddling. I don't see her beating a thing though, because of my future projection of a thing though. <laughs> I have uh, U.S. U.S. gold medal seventy five percent chance at meddling. Seventy five percent, pretty high. Gold medal or just meddling? Just meddling. Just meddling. It probably you could you could talk me into being upwards to to eighty. Um, I mean, Rogers herself could medal Ajay Wilson. What are the odds of a medal sweep? U.S. medal sweep. I could see that happening. It's more than one, right? Yeah. More than one percent. more than two. And it's more than three percent. I could keep going up. Tell me when to stop. More than four well, percent? Yeah. More than five? Yeah. With how, with how good the field is, with how good the field is, it would be... It would be... You're very it's, impressive. It's, still, it's a long shot for sure. But can you see any one of these women missing the final? It's it'd be weird if any one of them didn't get get didn't get to the final. Yeah, I mean, I can see people missing the final. That's a thing I see a lot of because I think eight hundred semifinals are just always weird, and things happen. Yeah. So I could see that happening. My only concern with the thing Mo up until the trials was just like her youth and understanding getting through rounds and like not getting caught up in a slow heat that just she leans and whatever. And yeah. once she showed me that that's a non-issue, she went from eh, to like amazing in my mind. Mm -hmm. It was just that literally she became amazing after the semifinals. She, it you wasn't even a final where she won. It was after the semifinals. I was like, okay, it's over. That's she's, she's the next decade of 800 meter running. Sorry, Ajay she Wilson. Sorry, Raven Rogers. It's either it's a thing, Mo time. She ran forty nine five, and you're still like, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, she. I think her four hundreds were kind of like a result of a unique situation. I, you know, Donovan Brazier was fast. running. Her I feel like really a lot of fast. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I'm on. Hey, you now are on the wrong side of history. I was on the wrong side of history before the trials, and now. Oh. Before the I'm Olympics, saying she's you're not on the wrong a lock. Side of history. I'm just saying she's not a lock, and you're comparing it to Krauser, which is just crazy. Just crazy. Uh, someone in the chat mentioned the Brits in this event. Yeah, 